all right welcome back entertainment daily lovers we are here with another celebrity gist we are going to be discussing flavor nabania yes 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 that's the person we are going to be talking about today so yeah while the industry is hot with a lot of basketballs from uh, celebrities like uh, Whiskey, Davido, and the rest of them, so many people online, or oh, what's the other guy that's been dragging some other artists? Like, you, we can't even keep up. The Nigerian celebrities, the uh, artists, they are in a hot mess right now that they are fighting from right, left, center but anyways welcome in entertainment daily lovers don't forget to subscribe turn on notifications so you don't miss any celebrity gist because maybe the next person on the table might be your fave and you might want to know what your fave have done okay all right so um uh, seeing the flavor nabania all the way from motherland nigeria wants y'all to know this so you don't get him mixed up in all this hot mess that is going on between his colleagues okay these fights and i'm the best i'm the this i'm the that he just wants everybody to know that look mm -mm, do not by mistake accidentally involve me in any of this stuff so flavor took to his twitter amidst all this whole wahala all these basketballs all this brewing on the internet he decided to say this he said you were born yesterday if you don't know i am in a league of my own i know they in com i know they in competition with anybody where you won't start hit song live performance find me for different genres i day naputano you know added a little bit of evil language right there letting y'all know that he is in his own lane i'm in my league league of my own i'm not in competition with anybody i'm not battling the best position who's the best at this or who's not the best but right now all i see is me myself and i in this music industry i'm doing my thing i'm not competing with anybody i know myself i know i'm good at what i do so there is no way anybody is going to even come in with any type of Oh, maybe I'm better than flavor oh, I'm not better than flavor or I'm in competition with flavor that if you are thinking about that you are on your own because you might be thinking that you are in a competition with flavor but as far as flavor is concerned he is asking you like what are you like where do you even want to start from where like he, he he's not seeing that 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 thing where like okay this is it this is what i want to compete with flavor with because flavor feels like he knows himself and he knows he's extremely good at everything that he he does so he feels like if you bring it on he's going to beat you in your own game so if you want live performance let's drop everything else no my me knows this let's go live performance let's do this live on stage for the fans to listen to he knows that he will go out there and he's going to nail it if it's live performance Y'all, you've seen uh, Flavor perform live so many times. Flavor is really good. He's got the energy. He's got the voice. He's got the stage performance and everything. So Flavor is extremely good. When you talk about live performance, he's very good. Also, if you talk about hit songs, Flavor has got several, several. You know, sometimes with some artists, and this is no comparison or anything, but you know that with some artists, they will just have one or two, three uh, hit songs here and there, and then the rest of the songs, well, people will listen to, dance to, it will be played, but to, to not really give uh, that hit song vibe the way their previous songs did and maybe some of them it takes them years to actually come up with another hit song but for flavor almost every time flavor drops some uh, drops an album you will find out that there is hit songs in that album most times you will find more than one where everywhere you go to weddings events just uh, dancers everybody just plays it on the road and the bus stops everywhere everywhere you're moving you'll be hearing those flavor songs so yes we know that flavor is extremely good with hit songs so he's telling you don't play with me because i will beat you in your own game if it's hit songs i have got several okay i'm not in that league where people have few hit songs i have got several hit songs from the beginning from the day from the day i started okay 
And Flavor is one person that from from the from the day or from the time Flavor started performing, he has always been in his lane, and he knew what he wanted to do, and he stuck to that, and it is really really working very well for him, in my own opinion. So I really do understand when he's asking the question like, "You want to compete with me? I don't. Mm -mm, we ain't going to do that because I'm in my own lane. I'm playing my own league, my own game. You can compete even if you try. You're just going to be." <clears throat> drowned out because you will not know where to start from hit song i've got more than you or anybody that wants to try me in the future if you want us to go live performance he knows that not so many artists can actually go on live and really do very well a lot of people will just mime and do their thing and scream all the hell out in the stage and that's it they've done their performance and they're out of there but likes of flavor that will really go and perform very well another person that does good live performance is two face also two face can freestyle for africa two face can give you a good live performance uh but not many artists i believe that's why he came in with that one too like is it live performance is it hit songs like i know who i am so someone else decided to add something something here for uh flavor that made flavor to even laugh so uh somebody came in and said underneath after he tweeted this someone came on and said you are bigger than the industry talking to flavor you are okay you're bigger than the industry you sing afro fusion afro worship afro beat afro high life Afro Bido Shaker. Now, that part of the Afro Bido Shaker is what I didn't understand. And I believe that really got a uh, flavor also. Okay, that contributed to his laughing also. Because, okay, Bido Shaker is a, diff a whole different thing about the Prophet Odimeje. That's a Nigerian comedian prophet. That's what I call him. And he makes him very angry. But, but this man is really funny. If you listen to him, if that man goes out as a comedian, he's going to make a whole lot of money. But anyway, he says he's a pastor, he's a prophet. And he said he has all these powers that he can use to change the world and do so many things. And that he's going, he can... So he started naming the names of the powers that he has that can do several things. So one of those is the Abido Shaker. So that's the one that the person is talking about. And Flavor also did a song with the, with the man, produced the song for the prophet, for Prophet Odumeje, that is... Abido Sheka and all of that. The song is actually trending now. I think they just released the musical video for the song. Yeah. So the person said, you also do Afro Abido Sheka. And, and the person uh, spoke in their language and said, Wokebu Usubu Usobu uh, na Industry or something like that. Like, I believe the person is hailing him. Uh, this is an Eastern language, speaking in evil language. Yeah. So I believe the person is hailing him. A flavor came underneath and responded to the person, said, Which one is Afro Wash? again and he was laughing and got an um, laughing emoji because the person said you do afro high life afro beat and afro worship so flavor is asking which one is afro worship again and i believe this one is saying this person said that because of the abido shaker song and not only abido shaker that flavor has done with this prophet Odumeje, but he has done several uh, other songs with prophet Odumeje, uh either two or three that i know of but maybe it might be more than that so i think that's why the man is now saying he does afro worship because Major, of course does uh gospel songs even though the it's a type of gospel song that is a bit it sounds a bit different from the regular gospel songs that you know but of course everybody will come in with their own styles similar to what Kate franklin came in with his own style of singing worship song so yeah a bit of shaker aka prophet Odumeje, also have his own style but flavor mostly produced the song so what do you think about what flavor had to say that he's in his own lane doing his own thing and nobody should try him because he will beat you at your own game okay so thank you so very much for watching don't forget to subscribe.